हे हेलो गाइस दिस इज शुभम प्रतो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्किटिशियन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑन माय चैनल इज अबाउट होल प्रोजेक्ट मेकिंग लाइक स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द कांसेप्ट टू द फाइनल प्रोजेक्ट बट फ्रॉम टुडे माय वीडियोस आर गोइंग टू बी अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट लाइक आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू मेक होल प्रोजेक्ट इन अ सिंगल वीडियो बिकॉज़ द अपकमिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स आर नॉट सो स्मॉल एंड रिक्वायर सम रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट व्हिच विल टेक सम टाइम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू थ्रू द ऑल आर एंड डी प्रोसेस व्हिच आई एम डूइंग हियर and publish the videos in every week these videos are going to be like development vlogs like whatever progress i am making in the project i will let you know in the end of the week uh, from today i am start i am starting a project that is kara robotic arm and before building the kara robotic arm we should know that what is kara robotic arm the design process of the kara robotic arm and also the what type of arm it is so this is development vlog 1 for kara robot Don't skip the video but till the end let's get started The Skara is a type of industrial robot the acronym stands for selective compliance assembly robot arm or selective compliance articulated robot arm by virtue of the Skara's parallel axis joint layout The arm is slightly compliant in the x y direction but rigid in the z direction hence the term selective compliance kara robots normally have up to 4 axis 3 rotational axis and 1 linear axis the kara robot is most commonly used for pick and place for assembly operations where high speed and high accuracy is required kara robots due to their configuration are typically only capable of carrying a relatively light payload typically up to 2 kg nominal so it is the time to dive into the design part wait a minute i don't know how to use cad software but i know someone who can help me in this my elder brother know that how to use cad software and have some expertise in robotics let me text him Yes, he is ready to help me out. So let's start the design process. So the Skara robotic arm that we are going to build, it will have two degrees of freedom. But in case of industrial Skara robotic arm, it has up to four degrees of freedom. As we are making it for the first time, we want to keep it simple. By the way, the Skara robotic arm that we are going to build, it is going to be a parallel arm Skara robot. There are two types of Skara robot. One is serial arm Skara robot, and another is parallel arm Skara robot that we are going to build. So this is the uh, simplified design of our Skara robotic arm. Let's understand the design. These are link ones, which is going to be ten centimeter. and these are link 2 which is going to be of 13 cm remember one thing that link 2 should be greater than or equal to the link 1 like link 2 is always greater than or equal to the link 1 and this joint here are free joints and these two point here are the revolute joints that means we will attach the motor here for uh, motoring action we will use servo motor uh, servo motor mg995 which have a playing angle from 0 degree to 180 degree the distance between these two revolute joint is 10 cm I know that uh, this can be boring for some people but this calculation is very very important for before building the robot now let's see the 3d design this is what our robot should look like according to the arrangement our robotic arm can reach up to 22 cm
for making the arm links i will use this 4 mm acrylic sheet i have printed out the design beforehand and i will stick the paper into this acrylic sheet and cut the designs but there is a problem i don't have a jigsaw to cut the designs so for that i have to go to the nearest switchboard cutting shop where they have a jigsaw so let's go to the switchboard cutting shop so i stick this paper to this acrylic sheet and now we are going to the switchboard cutting shop so let's go
Here are the parts. These are the all parts. So now we will assemble this in the evening. So we are ready to assemble the SCARA robot but before that we have to drill some holes in these links and the base plate. So we will do that first and after that we will assemble using some nut bolts. So let's drill that. I will use 3mm drill bit for drilling the holes because I have M3 nut and bolts for fixing the servos and the uh, revolute joints and all the things. So I will drill first. So now I am fixing the servo motor to the base plate using M3 nut and bolts. So this is the base plate setup. Servos are fitted. I use some uh, 3mm nut bolts and I have used this in diagonal. So I have joined all the links, uh, these are links 2 and these are link 1, I am using, by using 3mm nut bolt I have joined all the parts and here are two servo horns which I will attach to the servo motor and these joints are free joints and the end joint is also a free joint. Now I will fix these links to this base plate actually with the servos okay this is the final setup our so our robot will work like this So that is it for today guys, for the next part of this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you are already subscribed then make sure you hit the bell icon for getting the notification about my video and if you guys like this video then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friends and technical community and you can also mention your thoughts in the comment section below and if you want you can help me by buying me a coffee link is in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video and the most important thing, be creative.